In this video, we're going to spend a few more minutes talking about risks and threats beyond what we did in our previous lecture where we introduced the concept of risk management. So you know what a risk is, you know what a threat is, but we haven't really talked about the different types of risks and threats that we face. So I want to make sure we spend a few minutes talking about them here. So let's talk about risks. Regardless of the type of risk, whether it's been realized or unrealized, there's going to be a cost associated with it. So there's a monetary amount associated with it. And if we think about an unrealized risk that we are potentially trying to minimize by having a mitigation plan in place, or we're transferring it to a third party vendor, well, there's going to be a cost associated with it. And then, of course, if we have a risk that's realized, well, there's going to be a monetary cost associated with that as well, whether that is a cost associated with us having to pull money out of our business savings account to help us resume business operations and IT operations, or if it's something that's going to cause a loss of revenues. So money plays a role in risk regardless of the type of risk it is. Now, thinking about different risks, certain risks are going to tarnish our reputation of our business or an organization. If we look at Sony and their Sony PlayStation hack, I'm pretty sure that that caused a damage to the reputation. They probably lost customers that ended up causing monetary risks and monetary concerns because they had lost revenues. Their stocks probably went down and they probably had investors pull out and that ended up costing them a lot of money. Now getting back to that a little bit further, looking at the Sony PlayStation hack, there was a data breach associated with that. And I don't know the details off the top of my head, but if we think about the concept of assets, remember an asset is a person, it could be our property, or it could be our data slash information. If it was customer information, or if it was intellectual property rights that were stolen, well, there's gonna be a loss of an asset, and that's another risk. So when we think about a loss of asset risk, that could be potentially a loss of life because we're talking about employees. It could be a damage or a loss to our property, and it could be the leaking or the breaching or the stealing of our data, personal information, financial information, private information, or intellectual property for corporate espionage. So that all ties into potential loss of asset risk. And intellectual property slash private or data slash information, that really is a loss of asset, but I wanted to make sure that I highlighted that because that's an important one for businesses that are in competitive spaces. And in the business world, we call that a red water. So we have blue water and we have red water. Red water is where all the sharks are and they're all fighting and, and eating all the small fish up. Blue waters are safer, but a lot of uh, different sectors are definitely going to be red water. And there is, of course, corporate espionage and our intellectual property rights are something that we want to maintain confidentiality with. And then with a lot of these different types of risks that we talked about, there's going to be a legal concern or a legal risk associated with it. Did we break any laws as a business? Are we liable for anything? Are we going to get sued? Is this going to cost us money? So there's a legal risk associated with that as well. So that's risks. I just wanted to go a bit further and explore them and talk about the high level types and categories of risk that we can look at. Now let's talk about threats. And I did touch base on this a little bit in the last video, but I didn't go into as much detail. So when we talk about threats, there's three different categories. There's a natural threat, there's unintentional threats, and there's intentional threats. So we'll start at the bottom, intentional threats. This is what we all think about. It could be malware. Let's say that there is a hacker and they decide to write some sort of malware, whether it be a worm or a virus or some sort of other type of malware and they infect systems on our network. Well, that's gonna be intentional. Or if it's a hacker trying to breach our network or our servers trying to pull information off our servers and steal PII information, so personally identifiable information, or intellectual information, and then that's going to be intentional. So that's what we think about. That's what a lot of people think about. But in terms of the other types of threats, there are natural and unintentional. And we'll just start at the bottom and go our way up. So we'll continue going up and we'll talk about unintentional. So when we talk about unintentional, that's going to be by accident. So an employee at work, Maybe we have a network administrator. He takes his cup of coffee into the server room. He's drinking coffee, puts it on the rack, not looking, 
spills it, and it fries one of the motherboards on the servers. It's an accident. It's unintentional. He didn't mean to do it, but it's still a potential threat. And then the last one, natural threats. So natural threats such as hurricanes, fires, bad storms. So there was a storm earlier this year. I don't know where it was in the United States, but it was a, a fairly significant storm and it caused damage to one of the Amazon warehouses. And I think one of the employees ended up unfortunately dying in that and passing away. So there's natural threats. So if we think about potential natural threats and here in California, where I live, the city of paradise, I mean, that, that was just horrific. So we have fire threats, we have earthquake threats, we have hurricanes, we have tsunamis, any sort of a natural disaster is going to be a potential natural threat. And so those are the three different categories. And I just wanted to spend some time really just hashing these out and just giving you a little more detail into them. So that's going to conclude this lecture. And we just hashed out a little bit more um, exploring different types of risks and threats and talking about them. If you have any questions about them, let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.